And some out of this world headlines tonight. A rock sample taken by NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars shows the planet could have supported living microbes. Well, the Midlands man says he already knew that. Our Garrett Beatball has more. I'm certain that life existed on Mars in the past. And this Winsboro man says he's got the picture proof to back up that claim. When you see a picture of an elephant, you know you're looking at an elephant. At some point, you have to lower your guard and take the next leap. With two Freedom of Information Act requests, Schultz was able to obtain a couple hundred thousand images from NASA's Mars rovers and says he first discovered life on the planet in 2004. I found very definite signs of aquatic fossils in many of the images, and the chemistry and the physics supports it. Images like these are what Schultz says are evidence that life has existed on Mars. But after presenting his findings to NASA, he found not everyone is ready to accept the idea. Recently, about two years ago, when confronted on the issue, Phil Christensen, who is one of the NASA scientists, said that the results of my research were not out of the question. However, now the agency seems to be coming around ever so slightly. Tuesday, it was announced that a rock sample collected by the Curiosity rover reveals that by finding some key chemical ingredients for life, ancient Mars could have supported living microbes. Earth and Mars were formed from the same materials in our solar system at the same time. They have nearly identical chemistries and histories. It shouldn't surprise anyone that the quantities and qualities of the minerals and chemistry present in those two worlds are the same. It's a thought that could take more time for Earthlings to accept. Schultz has a CD called A Fossil Hunter's Guide to Mars, where you can see for yourself images that he has collected and what he says proves there are ancient fossils on Mars. I can't prove anything to anyone if they don't want to see it, and I can't educate everybody unless they choose to learn for themselves. I can only present what my findings are and solid links to the fact that they're truths. Securely on planet Earth, Garrett Biedenball, Watch Fox News. Well, Schultz also says that uh, we shouldn't bring back samples from Mars due to bacteria that could be introduced to our environment. If you'd like a copy of his CD to see more images from the Red Planet, we have a link to his website on our website. Find it, MidlandsConnect.com.